Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all having a great day. In this video, I plan on teaching you how to use Python while loops. Now, they're very similar to the Python for loops that we talked about a few videos back, so if you understand those, you should be good to go. With that being said, let's just get right into this video. All right, so what is a while loop? Now, like I said earlier, the while loop is very similar to the for loop with one key difference. A for loop will take in a collection of items and it'll execute some block of code that's contained within that for loop for each item that's within that collection. Now, a while loop will run as long as or while a certain condition is met. So what do I mean by a certain condition is met? So to start off, we're gonna type in while, and then we're gonna put some condition in between these parentheses, colon, and then enter. So we'll come down here, and we need some condition to make this while loop run. So we're just gonna instantiate some variable called count, and we'll set that equal to zero, not 90. And then we'll come down here, and we need some condition to go in between these parentheses. So we could do something like this. We could say while count is less than 10, run whatever is in this while loop. So what we can do is we can print out the value of count. And then what we're going to have to do is go count plus equals one. And just in case I never covered this in any previous videos, what count plus equals is doing is essentially this count equals count plus one. So the reason we don't do something like this, count plus one, is because if we just said count plus one, this value would never be assigned to count and it would just stay at zero. So instead we do count plus equals one. You can also do minus equals, times equals, and divides equals. But we're gonna use plus equals for now. And then if we save and run this, come down to the terminal and you'll see that we'll get an output zero all the way up to nine. Now we don't get the value of 10 because obviously 10 is not less than 10. So some of you might be wondering what would happen if we just never increased count? Well, then we would encounter an infinite loop. If we never increase count to where it would get past or equal to 10, this while loop would run forever. So to see what that looks like, if we save and run this, we'll print it out. And if we come down to the terminal, you'll see that we just keep getting a bunch and a bunch of zeros. If you end up making an infinite loop in one of your programs, the way to get out of it is using control C and that'll create a keyboard interrupt and just completely terminate your program. Then the next thing that we should cover is the while true loop. So the while true loop is something you'll use a lot when you actually start writing Python programs. And essentially what it's gonna do is it's just gonna run this loop while it's true. So essentially forever until it runs into some break statement. So what we can do is to set this up, if we were to take in user input, that's probably the best example of when you'd wanna use a while true loop because you don't know when the user is gonna be done typing in their input. So if we made a variable called user input, not user, user, user input, and we say they input a value of 20. What we can do is come into our while loop and type in if count, equals the user's input, what we're gonna to wanna to do is break out of this while loop. And then after that, assuming it's false, we're gonna to wanna to do a count plus equals one. So we'll save it and run it. And if we come down to the terminal, you'll see that we'll get zero all the way up to 20. So that's pretty much it for while loops. I hope you're able to see the similarities and differences between the for and while loop. One thing before I end this video though, to determine which loop to use, think to yourself, do I know how many times this loop needs to run? If the answer is yes, you should use a for loop. If you're not sure how long the loop will need to run for, then you should definitely use the while loop. For example, if we went back to our user input, or you know what, better yet, the editor you're using to write your programs. The editor is in some form of a while loop because it has no idea when you wanna exit. Using a for loop in that case to keep the program running makes no sense because it only runs a set amount of times. Now, if you have to run a block of code, let's say five times, that's a perfect spot to use a for loop. Now, yes, you could use the while loop to run some code five times, but it's generally preferred that you use the for loop for something like that. Hopefully that all makes sense to you. 
As always, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.